breaking news in the Bronx. Let's uh, take you up to Chopper 2, and Joe Bierman is over the scene, a frantic scene in the Bronx River. Divers just saved two 13-year-old boys who were in the water there. Let's get the latest now from Joe. Joe, what are you hearing? Hey guys, we're up uh, covering the Yonkers fire around 3 o'clock when the 911 call started coming in of two missing 13-year-old boys here in the Bronx River right by 172nd Street. We raced over. We found emergency crews arriving. They pulled the two boys out submerged from the Bronx River. They were uh, in cardiac arrest. You can see EMS there doing CPR. The two teens were raced to local hospitals. They are listed in a critical condition. Right now there's a uh, crime scene set up here to determine exactly what happened. They're interviewing the uh, boys friends that most likely called 911 to report they had gone swimming here in the Bronx River and did not come up. Live in Chopper 2, Joe Bierman, CBS 2 News. Okay, Joe, thank you. Let's get more details now. CBS 2's Tracy Carrasco is on the ground near the scene of where the divers pulled those two young people out of the Bronx River. Tracy? Yes, Murray, we just arrived on scene here, and the fire chief tells us that it was two 13-year-old boys that were pulled from the Bronx River here this afternoon. Now, the call came in a little after 3 o'clock this afternoon. They were on scene out here with divers and rescue boats. They pulled that first teenage boy just a little after 3 o'clock after they arrived, just minutes, but it took a little while longer, about an hour for them to pull that second teenage boy out. Again, we don't know the condition of that second teenage boy, but the first victim pulled out. He was rushed to St. Barnabas Hospital in critical condition. Uh, crews are still out here investigating, trying to figure out what led up to this afternoon's events. We're live tonight from West Farm in the Bronx. Tracy Crosser, CBS 2 News. All right, Tracy, thank you. We, of course, continue to follow this breaking news happening in the Bronx and bring you more information as we get it into the CBS 2 newsroom.